Hello, we have a new lecture tonight. This is in Ecology, Chapter 1, Section 3, Producers and Consumers. First of all, the main idea here is that all organisms require energy, and there's going to be various ways that organisms will acquire their energy that they require. The On a cellular level, this might be something you could remember from last year, there is a specific organelle that can uh, convert glucose into ATP very efficiently. One was the cytoplasm, but the other organelle is much more efficient at it. That organelle is called the mitochondria. And one good way to remember that, if you remember mighty, like you think of mighty and power, mighty mitochondria. Energy that fuels most life on Earth ultimately comes from the sun. And notice I did say most. There are a few organisms that can obtain energy from the power from our Earth, like uh, some bacteria that uses chemosynthesis. In general, organisms can obtain energy in two different ways. The first way is to use the sun's energy directly to produce their own food. And the second way would be to consume other organisms for food. So this plant is able to produce its own food, and the rabbit will consume the plant to obtain energy from the plant. The first type are known as producers, and another word for producers is autotrophs. The autotrophs or the producers use the sun's energy to make energy-rich molecules. This should be something that is somewhat of a review to you, because I know you guys have done photosynthesis in the past. Uh, producers contain chlorophyll, and chlorophyll are these green structures here inside of a plant cell, and chlorophyll is necessary to do what's known as photosynthesis, making food from light. Here's a video clip. If you want to know how a plant grows It takes water, air and sunlight And makes cellulose Every plant can do this Fundamental process And we can call this Photosynthesis Unlike me and you Plants need CO2 And they make oxygen That stops us turning blue Every plant can do this Fundamental process And we can call this Photosynthesis It's a miracle How all the chlorophyll Captures sunlight in the leaves Of the plants and the trees A plant of any size Can do it if it tries But we're not green So we can't photosynthesize Every plant can do this Fundamental process And we can call this Photosynthesis Photosynthesis. Again, quick review. Uh, this is the process where plants use blank, blank, and blank to produce blank and blank. So what are these things? Plants use energy from the sun. They need carbon dioxide and they need water. And they are able to convert those things to produce sugar and oxygen. And sugar in this term is sometimes known as glucose. Glucose. Here's a little diagram for you to study. Consumers. Consumers are also called heterotrophs. And heterotrophs or consumers are organisms that cannot make their own energy directly, so they need to eat or consume other organisms to obtain energy from them. There are several different types of consumers, herbivores, carnivores, omnivores, decomposers, and there are also some other subcategories as well. Carnivores. Carnivores are animals that eat other animals. They consume them. They eat other animals. Here are some examples of carnivores. Carnivores or owls? Owls are carnivores, correct. Herbivores. Herbivores are animals that eat plants. And some examples. Omnivores. Omnivores are animals that eat plants and animals. Some examples. Dinosaurs. 
Here's a video clip about omnivores. Decomposers. Decomposers are a consumer type that often is neglected. Decomposers will consume waste and dead organisms. Decomposers have a very important role. They break down once living matter into basic energy rich nutrients. They are often used by plants. Here are some examples. Bacteria, fungus, here's a video clip.
Here's a good question for you to think about. What would happen if all decomposers were to vanish? First of all, many dead organisms would be lying around. We need those decomposers to break down the dead organic material. And without decomposers to break down that dead, uh, that dead organic material, soil would not have energy-rich nutrients that can be used for plants. So the soil would be depleted fairly quickly without a constant renewing of more nutritional soil. Here, take a look at these, see if you can identify which is which, herbivore, carnivore, omnivore, or decomposer. If you want to pause it here, the answers are coming up, so pause it here. Here are the answers. Here is a food chain, and again, we're going to do the same thing. Identify herbivore, carnivore, omnivore, or decomposer. I'll pause it here if you don't want to, if you want to give yourself some time. Here's the answers for you. Well, that's all, folks. We'll see you next time. Okay, for kids, bye. See ya. Here's all my friends, too. They're very nice friends. Bye-bye.